first let's uh, do some basic checks preconditions so if array equal to null or array dot length is zero then simply return these are the preconditions okay and let's create uh, two renewable objects one for sorting only the even number and the other only for sorting odd numbers so for that i will prefer to create a new class which implements renewable interface so it may be like look like this sort odds or evens and i will pass this array as first to the constructor and if you're looking for even number there would be a boolean flag that if is odd or not for even it would be false for odd it would be true so let's start with the creating for sorting for even numbers first so once this is done then i will create alt enter again create plus this and destination package okay so it has created an object here so okay uh, class here and the constructor is that i will just use the default array boolean and i will mark it as is odd okay i will also bound these parameters to the private field members here so for that i will alt enter bind constructor parameters to fields enter choose both of them so we have got a private field member here and also set here okay now let's make it a renewable interface so that we can create several th threads for it. Again, alt enter, implement methods, run. Okay. And uh, because we are supposed to return a sorted array in uh, to sort and order even numbers, so I will also create one more field called it private int sorted array. The sorted array can be for odd or for even. So here I will now I will create this um, uh, sorting method. So I can just use arrays stream method to wrap this array, uh, our input array. Okay, like this. And then we will filter this array because this filter will contain both odd and even numbers, right? So in that case, we have to filter if this odd is only for sorting odd or sorting even. Accordingly, we have to use this is odd field. Uh, to filter out the odd or even numbers. For that, I will use is odd uh, conditional expression. And if it is odd, right, then I need to filter it by checking i percent to is not equal to zero, right? And for the even numbers, it would be similar. It would be equal equal zero. What we are doing is that if i is divided, uh, the modulo division is uh, turning one, it means that this number is odd. That's why we are checking is if it's, it's odd, then we're filtering like this, it should be odd. And if it's an even, the remainder, if you divide by the number by two, it should be zero. So it should be filter only even numbers. Similarly, filter only odd numbers this one okay after this let me do some formatting okay now it looks better okay and now i will move here and then after filtering it we have to call the sorted method it is simply sorted and then we have to return an array back so it is actually converting convert because here we are getting int stream right and we have to return it to as an int array so two array will do the same and after this i will just call control alt v to store it in the, into a variable and because you already have the sorted array so i will just sorted array so let's revise what we have done so we have got this constructor where we are passing the input array this input array can contain both odd and even and this boolean flag with this will identify whether we have to sort only for odd or sort only for even then we create a stream of this array input array then we filter whether it's, um, we have to sort only for odd or even by using this technique by the modular division it's very straightforward and once we have filtered it out only for odd numbers or even numbers we sort it 
and convert it back to the int array from in stream and assign it to the private field member sorted array. And this is a runnable class and uh, this should be running as a separate thread. And also I'll create a getter method for this because the output that we want is that this sorted array. So I will just alt insert again and getter and I will only put for sorted array. Okay. I think this is good enough. Now let's go back to our method where we are sorting it. So is or is false, it means that it will uh, sort only for even numbers. So again, I will do control alt V. We'll mark it as sort only evens because is odd parameter is false here. So it should be sort evens. And uh, I'm using JDK 11, so I can use a final variable here. Okay, and similarly, I will do for sort odds. And just mark it as odds. And here should be true then. Okay. So this is, these are the two runnable objects we have already created now. Now let's create a thread out of it. So creating a thread, we can pass this enable objects as a constructor parameter for the thread, like this. So new thread, I will pass it for sort events first. Control or V, and I will call it as say thread one. Okay, you can mark it as thread events or whatever. Uh, and I will create it as final again. I prefer to use war. Uh, so using all these features also, right? I mean, it would be a good impression on the interviewer that you know the JDK 11 features by using the local var var variables. Okay, um, now let's use the sort odds. Okay, now we have got these two threads created. Now let's start this thread. So how we start the thread? By calling the start method. Similarly, we have to start for thread two as well. So thread two, when it started, it will call this run uh, run method here, and it will uh, do whatever we have uh, said. So we have passed the array here for odd. It will uh, filter out the only the odd numbers, sort it, and store it into the sorted array, which we can retrieve from using get sorted array. Okay. After we start this, because the problem statement states that it should be running on different results and uh, different thread. Sorry. And once we are done with this, only then we can merge it. Once it is not completed, we cannot merge into thread three. So that's why we have to join it here. That's why I will mark thread one dot join. By join, it means that this main thread will wait for this uh, thread to complete first before it, uh, it terminates itself. And again, for thread two, I will call join method. So it's showing and uh, so you have to just add it here because uh, join actually throws interrupted exception. You get one little problem because we have to throw it here or insert add exception to our unit test case as well. So let's go back here. So we have got this join and once this is completed, now we have to first of all uh, get the sorted array for even numbers, right? So if we have reached this point here, it means that both the tests have already completed sorting only the evens or odds. And now we can just retrieve that sorted array, sorted even array. Get sorted array, control out V, and then I will say it's sorted uh, even array. Okay. Again, as I mentioned, I prefer using final war. Similarly, I will do it for odd array. Sort odds, right? Now we could have easily like combined these arrays like sorted even and here itself in the main thread. But the problem statement st uh, says that it should be also the merging combination is also to be done in a separate thread, not the main thread. So again, uh, we have to create a new uh, new class like just like sort uh, odds or evens. We have to create something as merge arrays, which would be implementing the nibble. 